This week, a drug discovery company called Chromocell celebrated its expansion into larger quarters, as well as its continuing growth even in the face of a severe economic downturn. The 15,000 square foot facility is on the North Brunswick Technology campus of the Economic Development Authority, which has fostered Chromocell's growth from three co-founders to a staff of more than 80. Science and Technology correspondent Patrick Regan has the story. The innovation that this company is built on came out of basic research done by Nobel laureate Gunter Blobel and Kambiz Shekdar at Rockefeller University. It's a technique for improving the efficiency and accuracy with which genetically modified cells can be prepared for tests of prospective drug compounds. When you're doing drug discovery, you try to replicate some disease in a miniaturized system, in a cell that has the disease genes. Most biology is complex, and you have multiple genes involved. And what we've done is find a way to automate genetic engineering. We can easily or efficiently fish out these rare cells that optimally express the drug target of interest so that it comes much closer to what's in the body. You can really test in a much more comprehensive way than you could previously. And so therefore, this will probably be important uh, to eliminate side effects or to predict side effects. And we can get better, more highly targeted drugs. The technology could also be applied to diagnostics and to cell-based therapies. Initial drug discovery targets here include treatments for pain, anxiety and respiratory disorders, but the technology could in principle speed up any pharmaceutical screening program. What the EDA created here was a custom-made facility where you really have the normal flow of drug discovery starting with molecular biology, then going through core technology, high throughput screening, assay development, and that's really expressed in this sequence of labs that you have and then outside of the labs you have the workplaces for the scientists so that they um, have a good space where they don't contaminate and the other way around. There's a burgeoning biotech industry in the state, um, uh, over 240 companies today. The big picture in biotech relative to the economy right now is that really you have companies at, at either end of the spectrum. There are those that are really struggling and frankly um, you know challenged greatly by the economy and then there are companies like Chromacell that are adding people on a daily basis, uh, they're flourishing, they're doing extremely well, and they're, and they're doing good things for New Jersey. Patrick Regan, NJN News, North Brunswick.